Let's start with the greatest example, Jehovah. Think about the patience he's shown in waiting to bring an end to this system. Jehovah has a fixed day and hour when that will take place, and he's patiently waiting until that arrives. He's bound himself to his own timetable. Now, rest assured, Jehovah is well aware of how we feel as his servants. He knows that we wish the end of this system to come as soon as possible, and that we long to see the fulfillment of all his promises, and he longs to fulfill them. But he will not become impatient and act before his appointed time. Why should we appreciate Jehovah's patience in that regard? Please follow along as I read 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Furthermore, consider the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote you according to the wisdom given him. Isn't that a powerful point? Jehovah's patience is the means for our salvation. Think about the number of people who are learning the truth every year. Even during the pandemic, when we weren't able to engage in our typical house-to-house -house witnessing, tens of thousands of individuals still got baptized worldwide. Perhaps some of those included your Bible students, family members, close friends, or maybe even you yourself. And think about this. If Jehovah had impatiently brought the end of this system five, 10, or 20 years ago, would you have learned the truth? So we appreciate that Jehovah is still patiently waiting for his day to arrive and has allowed so many to attain to repentance and develop a relationship with him. Wow, I'm so glad William Turner just said all that because that's the sort of stuff you would typically hear on a Kingdom Hall platform. It's the sort of fob off that elders on the Kingdom Hall platform would usually give the congregation when talking about how painful it is to wait year after year, decade after decade, with no Armageddon. So <laughs> As a Jehovah's Witness, it's kind of the elephant in the room that for years or decades you've been preaching the end and it's still not here. William Turner has apparently assigned himself or been assigned the theme patience or that's what his talk is supposed to be on the subject of patience. He's already used this as an opportunity to remind Jehovah's Witnesses of the level of control that's expected of them. He's now using this theme of patience to give this excuse as to why Armageddon has been so long in coming. He points to 2 Peter 3 verse 15, consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. And he effectively says, well, if you think about it, if God had brought Armageddon before you were baptized, then you would have died. <laughs> That's essentially his reasoning here. He is appealing to individual hubris and greed and the desire for self-preservation. That's what he is appealing to here. That's what this organization is willing to sink to. Oh, well, you know, it's worked out well for you, hasn't it? <laughs> That's what we're talking about. In actual fact, this logic unravels with minimal scrutiny. So we're supposed to believe that as the years tick by, Rather than Armageddon being late, this is just Jehovah being really, really patient in allowing more and more people to become Jehovah's Witnesses and therefore get saved. 
that makes sense until you think about the global population and how it's increasing at a ridiculous rate. As I make this video, the population has just ticked over. There is like a clock somewhere online that estimates the global population. And it's recently, as in the last few days, ticked over to 8 billion people estimated to be alive on Earth now. 8 billion people on our planet. William Turner gives this reasoning regarding the patience of Jehovah. If Jehovah had impatiently brought the end of this system five, ten, or twenty years ago, would you have learned the truth? So let's have some fun here. Let's take those spans of time that William Turner has just given us hypothetically, five years ago was 2017, when the global population was 7.6 billion. Ten years ago, the global population in 2012 was 7.06 billion. So nearly a billion increase over the last ten years. 2002, the global population was 6.2 billion. So 20 years ago, in 2002, 6.2 billion. So over the last 20 years, the number of human beings on our planet has increased by 1.8 billion. And Jehovah's Witnesses are baptizing people at a rate of around about 200 to 300,000 per year. <laughs> Maybe it's just my maths, but I don't see any extraordinary example of patience. Rather, I see that as the years tick by, the global population is hurtling upwards at a ridiculous rate. In fact, it's increasing by 67 million per year. Jehovah's Witnesses only have eight and a half million and our Earth is producing more human beings per year at a rate of 67 million. That's apparently patience. Jehovah is allowing 67 million extra people, once births and deaths have been accounted for, at the end of each year, 67 million people he can kill. That's apparently him being patient. If you go back to 1914, because let's remember, we're supposedly in the last days, and the last days began, apparently, in 1914. Revelation refers to the last days as a short period of time when Satan is cast down to the earth. I'll let you decide whether it really has been a short period of time in the, what was it, 108 years since Satan has been cast down. But what was the global population in 1914 between 1.7 and 1.8 billion? So all through the last days, Jehovah, a God of love, a God of patience, we're learning, has been allowing the Earth's population to swell by more than six billion so that he can demonstrate his patience in allowing enough time for only eight and a half million to become Jehovah's Witnesses and survive Armageddon. <laughs>